Hey everyone, it's that time of year again. It's time to take a look at new tools Makita has coming out for 2021. I've looked at all their patent applications for the past year, and here's what I found. So last year I found a design for a framing nailer. We haven't seen that one yet, but it looks like Makita's pushing on with their nailing technology because this year I found a patent for a coil nailer. So this looks like it's gonna run off their 18 volt LXT platform. It's got a really similar design with a flywheel mechanism uh, that the framing nailer had. This one just has an obvious coil nail magazine on the front of it. I didn't see any mention whether it's a roofing nailer or a siding nailer, but it's one of those two. Next up is something I never expected to see on a cordless platform. This is an 18 volt times two thickness planer. It looks like it's gonna be a 12 inch version, very similar to their corded model. Just this one's going to run off of two 18 volt batteries. And I thought it might be a, a 40 volt times two XGT thing, but it specifically calls out 18 volts for the basic battery voltage in the patent language. I think Makita's going to have a hard time getting a decent amount of runtime out of this. These are usually 15 amp tools when they're run off of corded power. So we're looking at 1800 watts that we're gonna be drawing on this thing. That is a lot of power. It's a straight knife design, so it's not a helical style or a staggered spiral cutter head. Uh, so that's gonna draw a lot of current every time those knives hit the wood. So this next patent is more about precision motor control uh, to determine torque and speed, but the imagery in this patent shows what I'm pretty sure is an 18 volt torque wrench. So a powered torque wrench, a lot of like Milwaukee's M12 one that they have, but in this case, I think Makita might be going for having a powered torque wrench that finishes to a certain torque rather than having to stop and do manual torque like the Milwaukee M12 does. Makita has had an 18 volt rivet gun for a while. Uh, it looks like they're working on an 18 volt times two rivet gun, or maybe they'll put this on the 40 volt XGT platform without the double batteries. So this looks like it's going to be able to handle a lot higher forces than their standard one. So a really interesting part of this patent design is it's got two gears that shift automatically. So when you start setting the rivet and you start pulling it, it goes fast. And then when you get down to where you're setting it uh, and pulling it tight, it shifts to a lower gear so you can have more pull force. So that's going to speed up your workflow while letting you set larger rivets. Another Gen 2 niche tool that Makita is working on is a cordless rebar tying tool. This time, instead of having a giant head up top with the coil of wire in the top of the head of the tool making it really long, it looks like they're putting it in a handguard position down front. So Makita definitely knows their way around this type of tool. I believe they're the only major tool manufacturer to have one of these, and now they're improving it working on a Gen 2 model. This next patent is an 18 volt blower, uh, much like the job site blower that Makita already has, but on this one they have a squeegee attachment. So if you're doing car detailing or something like that, and wanna be able to dry off a car or a truck, this looks like an excellent option for that. And after some searching online, it looks like this might be available as a 12 volt CXT tool already in Europe and Japan. This next one is for a compact handheld blower or air duster. So instead of using compressed air to blow off a workpiece or a work surface, this one is going to use an 18 volt battery and it looks like it's in the form factor of basically an impact driver. It's got an inline design with multiple fans to really get a lot of compression on the airflow. And it's going to have a crazy fast fan speed of 50,000 to 120,000 RPM. And you can bet this thing's gonna be loud if it's turning that fast too. They list a possible range of nozzle diameters anywhere from two and a half millimeters to 10 millimeters and a force output of the, the air momentum stream of one Newton to three Newtons. So if you take the extreme ends of that, you're looking at anywhere from 1.8 to 89 PSI at the nozzle. If you do a more conservative estimate, it's probably going to be between five and a half to 29 PSI, somewhere in that range. Next up is another cordless appliance patent for Makita. So they've already got two versions of a coffee maker. They had a microwave patent that we found last year. This year I found a mini fridge. So this integrates with their stacking toolboxes. It's got a couple of different design variations, but in some of them, all the electronics are underneath. Some they're hanging off the side, which I don't think is quite as good of a design, uh, but it uses a Peltier element uh, for cooling or heating if you wanna keep your food warm as well. It's got an insulated box and a fan to distribute the heat or distribute airflow. There's a few different designs on this one, including an X2 configuration and an X4 for long, long run times. After a little bit of searching, I found that Makita has actually released a 
cooler in Japan and Europe that runs off of R134A refrigerant. So that's actually a really different design because the patent is using a Peltier effect cooler and the Makita coolers that are already out elsewhere, not in North America, are using a compressor with refrigerant. This next one might be the weirdest patent I've ever found from a tool manufacturer. This looks like Makita started designing an upright vacuum cleaner and then decided, nah, let's make it a lawnmower. So it, it definitely looks like an upright vacuum. You can see the, the blade down at the bottom though. Uh, I guess this is for really fine, delicate lawn clippings, maybe on a golf course or something, or edging along somewhere that you don't want to hit with a string trimmer. And it also has bagging for the grass clippings that you get. It, it has a fan that sucks everything up into that upright bag. Uh, and you can just mow slash vacuum your grass. So McKinney's had their powered wheelbarrow out for a while, and they're also looking at a transport trolley now. So we looked at the MX Fuel one last year for the patent that we found from Milwaukee. This year, we found one from Makita. So this one's going to use four LXT batteries to run it. Uh, it's got a few different configurations. It's got an option for a built-in powered scissor lift uh, to lift heavy loads up to, uh, you know, loading into a truck or something like that, or unloading from a truck. It's also got collapsible guardrails around the platform, so you can lower them down and put oversized things like sheet goods on it. Uh, there are also accessories like a dump bucket and an oversized tub. It's got four wheels on it. The front ones are powered and the back ones are swivel casters. So that's everything Makita that I found for this year in patent applications. There are definitely some interesting ones I'm looking forward to see if they actually come out with. And once again, don't forget, these are just patent applications, so there's a good possibility some of them will just die on the drawing board and we'll never actually see them as real products, but I bet we'll see a few of these in the near future actually make it to market. So thanks for watching. I'd love to hear what you're looking forward to in the comments section down below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.